everybody, welcome to the Word for the Week. Today, I want us to turn our Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13. And it says, And since we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written, I have believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. Now, this is talking about having the spirit of faith. I believe every born again child of God has the opportunity to not only have the spirit of faith, but walk with the spirit of faith, to live with the spirit of faith. Now, one of the characteristics of the spirit of faith is about the way we speak, not just the way we think, not just the way we act in certain areas of our life, but the way we speak. You know, the Bible says that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, which means whatever is in abundance in your heart, based on that, you will start speaking out of your mouth. When you are in pressurized times, when you are in lonely times, when you're all by yourself, what are the thoughts? What are you saying to yourself? That will indicate to you what is truly in abundance in your heart. So here's what I'm challenging every single one of you. As you start this brand new week, let us make sure we have the right things in our hearts because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And it is very important when you are living by faith, when you are trying to possess the things that God has already given unto you, you need to be speaking out of your mouth what has already been deposited in your heart. And when you have deposited the word of God in your heart, that is what you will speak whether everything is going good or when things look like everything is going in the wrong direction, you will continue to speak the word of God and you will speak based on what you believe. So my friends, the question is, what are you believing? If you are not believing in line with the word of God, if you are not believing what the word of God says, if you are not believing what God has said about you, what God has said about your situations and circumstances, well, this is a great week for you to get back in the word. Listen to what God has said. Read what God has said about you, about who you are, about who he is, about what you can do in him and through him in the situations of your life. And I guess guarantee you, when you start believing right and when you start speaking right, things will change in your life for the better. Amen. Meditate on this. Listen to this a couple of times if you need to, but make sure you have the right things in your heart and make sure you start speaking the right things out of your mouth. Have a great week and I'll talk to you again next time.